Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head-on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Everyone, everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings! You don't have to worry about Nerm. He can handle himself. I promised I'd look out for him. First world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it, too. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That's the biggest enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day! without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Thank you. 
lead the way. Red's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. asking for me cuz cuz I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state of the art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it wow you kind of oversold this one this place looks terrible i I didn't know. It was beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet! Uh, eat yourself! You, uh, are you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. Uh, Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps, no sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. We will get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? Look!
Oh, Fred. Let's go. <laughs> oh, even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. Time to find that weapon. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Secret room. There's got to be something down here. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Three towns, there's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. How did I get in here? This is where I was headed. Must have been sleepwalking. Breaking and entering, and now lying to me? No wonder you aren't a faithful friend of Fred. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. I'm beginning to think they're true, and if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it, and you just arrived. Benta, I promise you, we're not here to hurt you or your people. Pain is not always intentional. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Go on. Tell me. No, we didn't find the weapon. It's in a cabin where Fred, Zara, and Romeo hung out when they were friends. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? 
We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And, and if Romeo... You and your people are welcome to join us. Good. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. I won't let you down. You can count on us. Remember that if you do, you'll be letting down all these people as well. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here. See what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. <laughs> That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> Come here. Think you could just walk off with a pocket of the finest sticks in the land, huh? Not today! What? They're a little touchy about their inventory. Man, I can't believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's keep, can you? <sighs> Whatever, I don't even care. What? really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. Radar, I would listen to Petra and just let it go. She will punch you. Okay, okay, fine, jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. No! <laughs> Ugh. Uh, rough ride! <laughs> no, not for you. <laughs> Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with this?
What are you doing? Why are you following us? How do you fit into any of this? Ah! Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? Hey, if you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter! Well, if that's what you really think is best... It was nice to meet you, you strange masked man. Yes! Only the real Jesse would be so painfully earnest in such a dangerous situation. It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes! It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all, so I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors. All is part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please? Please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope. Really did not. No. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously. What are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Wow, I gotta admit, the admin cooked up a pretty smart plan. That's good. Are you kidding me? Jesse's right. Now the admin gets to be Jesse and have admin powers. Pretty good deal. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses... <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right! Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No! But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that! That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you classic thing to say to your friends i can tell you're being sarcastic but you'd be surprised please as if you could have actually killed me i'm a ninja now jesse you'd be surprised just how deadly i can be anyone else get chills 
I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. I tell him that I escaped, but that you trapped me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final, desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get anywhere. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not like it. Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just... Just uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Bring out your army. I'm happy to take them on. Oh, oh. And they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> Alright, we... we don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah, I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. The Sunshine Institute? I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? 
Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh-huh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. You've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Yeah, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents? Who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to ya, ya know? Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch and yell, Please don't hit me. Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. You know, like, one trillion out of ten! Yeah! Cause it's the seventh! What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? That was one day when I was like, Soup, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. See what you found, Luna. Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> Uh, how about I call this one the, uh, the, uh, Golden Apple? Yeah! Uh, huh. uh, I, I might just be hungry. Yeah. <sighs> now that is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room.
Good luck! Oh, you poor doomed souls. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. Upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. You wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> Monster. 
Doctor, there is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water too. Take a look around. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. Someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. 
Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens... Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? It's like the color blue, something peaceful about it. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? this. It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. These must be their banners. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Blue for Fred. Purple for Zara. journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are... Wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I, ugh, I hate potatoes. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato 451.
take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think... I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softie. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Whoa, she did it. This is it then. It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. for a reason, to keep things away. We're still missing Jack, and this is how we get him back with us. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. No one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. You did leave that villager in my cell when we left the prison. But we, we needed... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. 
He needs to be stopped, once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. You have us, Sara. Me, Petra, Jack, Radar, and everyone else. We're not going anywhere. <sighs> I heard that from a lot of people. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse?
turn the page this time. She left us. Oh boy. Radar. We're winning. For now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. Bad news. portals ever. I'm with the llama. Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. Yeah, this place would have blown his mind. Will, when he sees it. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Thought my adventures were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is, until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. 
Where are the others? 